The girl is being held in a cramped building. Cement was being poured into the walls on both sides. The little girl was terrified. She slapped the walls and screamed for help from her father. But her father stood outside and didn't help her. He thought that the soul would keep the building alive. Eventually, the girl was drowned in concrete. Fifteen years later, Alice came to the building. She was in charge of the pre-blast inspection of the building. But at night, when she took a bath, she immersed herself completely in the tub. But Alice heard a strange noise. When she got up to check it out, the sound disappeared. While she was blow-drying her hair, a little girl's laughter appeared in the mirror. There's more than one thing that's strange. When Alice measured the building, she found the walls too thick. Puzzled, she looked for building-related information and found that the architect had been murdered, including the architect's daughter also dead. What's even more horrifying, 14 people had died in this building. By the afternoon, Alice was spray-painting a blast marker in the hallway when a man with an axe ran at her quickly. Alice dodges, but the man went for the blasting mark. 